quite bossy. And maybe, you see, maybe, maybe whatever was here, because this looks quite new to me, mm -hmm. so maybe what was here before he's, he's acting out that. Let's move on then, yeah? Mm. Encouraged by David's early findings, we move through the offices to the first floor. I've got here a runner. Oh. I don't mean someone no. making the tea and things. I mean, I've got a someone who moves very quickly around here. Um, don't know if people hear it, but they might certainly see an outline. Um, I don't know what he's running for or running away from. But he is quite strong. He's certainly stronger than downstairs. You said he. Yeah, male. Def definitely a male. He's okay. def it's definitely a male. He has a really modern name. I've only got the first name at the moment, and the modern name is, is Graham. Okay. So we've got Graham. Can't, can't get to the surname. And, how, and what time period and how old is he? He's probably, he's probably around again, 70s. That's time period, mm -hmm. not age. Mm -hmm. uh, age wise, oh, okay. 35, 36, and he's killed in a car crash. So there's death in a car crash because I felt that impact on me as a car hit me. I felt a car hit me. So why does that bring him here? Yes. Is my question. Yeah. Why would he come here? Yeah. Even if he worked here, you know, when I pass, no offence, but I'm not going to be haunting the offices of, yeah. of anywhere, you know, I'm going to, yeah. you know. Um, I think he might be trying to tell people it happened. Oh. When, when they get hit and it wumps, what happens is the astral body gets shoved out. He's trying to tell someone what's happened. The first thing that comes to my mind is that they may not have got who did it. So there may have been, I need to tell you who it was. It may be, that might be I'll be honest, the impression I get is that it's someone he knew. Right. OK, some, it was somebody he knew. Is it worth calling out for him while we're just standing up here? Um, yeah, let's, let's try. Do I think it's a good try? idea. <laughs> Graham, if you are here, if there's a spirit or if any astrals here, could you make a sound? Blimey. A loud one. No, it was right here. Yeah, it was. Thank you. If your name was Graham, or is Graham, beg your pardon, could you tap twice for me? Yes. We need you to show us some physical evidence. <gasps> Just seen something flit across the back there. Boom, really quickly. Really well, you quickly. Asked for really, it. really quickly. Graham, was that you? Did I just see you? Maybe yeah. he was running off. Yeah. yeah. Well, should, we, should we carry on walking yeah, around there? If that's yeah. where in the was. direction he was at. Yeah. He knows what we're here for then. And he, because he's, it's, it's an older, or, sorry, younger ghost, he will know what cameras are, he will know television. Will, yeah. 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 So is it just Graham you've got up here? Yeah, he's, there's a one very strong one up here on this level. And this is Graham. Yeah. I don't know if you mentioned it earlier on, but this rushing around, is because that's what he was doing while he was living, or because he's just going in and out of this plane and another plane or something? Well, like no, that? he's. He, I think when it, when it, when the event actually happened, he tried to tell people, so he would have rushed. He would have come in here, and he would have rushed. It happened near here, so it didn't happen like miles away. It happened so it could close have been to here on the way to work yeah. or on the way back from yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, and he would have rushed around trying to get. He would have been in people's faces trying to, you know, it would have been that whole thing where he's trying to touch them and his hands going, right. and imagine the frustration. If if nobody can see you, and you know? it's still that kind of frantic rushing around. Yeah, that around. frantic movement. Okay, but I have why to tell would somebody. he? If he knows that nobody's here anymore, why would he be still rushing around? He's. I think he's just got caught, and that's how he moves about here. People have seen dark figures here, mm. so that's him rushing around because he knows there are still people yeah. walking around. Whether it's security, whether right. it's that's true. other investigators, yeah. whether it's us. So the rushing round is him trying to grab our attention. It does perhaps. fit, doesn't it, with the with the dark shadows? A lot of people have seen dark shadows here. And do they see them move very quickly? Do they do they move away quickly? Yeah, there's, yes. So they don't Although loiter. In a different area, we'll go into a different area and see the story there. But right. certainly in this area, there are reports of that sort of corner right. of the eye. Shall we turn all the lights off now and go somewhere else? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. I'm excited now. I am too. With David already feeling the energy from what seemed to be an untimely death, we felt the time was right to switch to night vision.
we began in the eerie vastness of the cavernous construction hall. Right, David. Tell us who's in here. It's huge. There's, um... There's one astral who is um, an older man. He's um, obviously a, a, he's a worker, he's an overall, so he's a he's in dirty overall. So yeah. he's, he's an older guy and he's he's telling me, I think he's saying to me he's been here since he was an apprentice, so he'd obviously this would have been his life, I guess. Yeah. Right. Um, I think he died probably around the Actually, I think it might even be as late as 80s. Really? That's when he died. Right. And he was here from when? Well, he was here, I think, from from what he's saying, probably the 60s, the 50s, 60s. Okay. I, think, I think he did die of an accident, and I can feel the side of his head gone. Right. The side of his head's bashed. Not just bashed, gone completely. So he must have fallen from some height. Right. Because the side of his head is completely shattered. Oh, God. Which would have fought, would, fought, would have killed him. Yeah. I can't get dates when that happened, but I guess it would be... If it, if it was here to the 80s, it would be in the 80s. Yeah. Let's keep oh, walking. Yeah, but he's wandering about. He's wandering around. Does, what, yeah. Can you see what he looks like? He's, he's, um, he's not overly tall. He's about this, about this high. Yeah. A little bit of a tummy on him, but he's, yeah. not, he's not fat by any stretch of imagination. I would say he's losing a bit of hair. Um, they're just wearing, he's just wearing overalls and boots, blue overalls and a pair of boots. And is he here now? He's, he's communicating with me, which say he's here, but I'm not feeling... When I feel a strong presence, I can physically feel them. Clear mm -hmm. sensing, you know, I feel them. Yeah. So I can't feel them. So he's obviously communicating from a... There's a distance still. OK. When you say he, he, some, he either fell or something, you know, something happened to the side mm. of his face, can you see the area or can he show you in your mind's eye where he would have fallen from or where the accident would have come, happened? I'd probably go further that side okay. and go to that side. What or do should we, we go up? Should okay. we go? I'd like to yeah. go up. Okay. Here. Let's okay. try this. So we've come into a sort of like a big long porter cabin where I suppose they used to have their offices in here. Yeah. And this to me is, I hate this bit. It's a bit. Yeah. Very odd, isn't it? It's just not nice. It feels odd as well because you know you're high up as well. There's one name that keeps coming back to me, and I hate when I get a name that is, do you know what I mean? It's such a generic name. Oh. Uh, it's, which is George, and it's such a, you know, every ghost called bloody George. It drives me mental, but there's no reason why it couldn't have been his no. name. Yeah, of course not. But it keeps coming back, so I'm going to go with that for the time being. George, okay. Let's go with George, and then see if I can get a surname or a okay. letter or something. If you can hear me, please can you knock twice for yes and once for no? Is your name George? I heard something faint then. Did anybody else hear it? There's two. Two, so George, OK. Hello, George. Did you fall from a great height? What was that? One. I only heard one. Me too. I thought I heard two, but I heard two. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> what was that? I think it was my foot, was it that? No. No? What's she hear? I, I, I moved my foot. It was like somebody going... <laughs> that definitely Sorry. wasn't me. They're clearing their sinuses or... I don't know. It was just... I can't... It frightened me because it was just... It wasn't your foot. It was... I can't explain it. OK. George, are you still here with us? Tap twice if you're still here. I wasn't here. OK, it's a little bit spooked here. Why? Because this is what I've got him doing. Oh, God. He's, I hate walking into them like this. He's right here. He's it's absolutely right here. Watch <gasps> us. Hang on. Let me What's flick that? back to... What's that? Oh, my God. Get... What is that? That could be his reflection. No way. That's not his reflection. Reflecting of what? Move your other arm. Your right Excuse arm. Excuse me, we're going to move up. Yeah, it is your reflection. Move again. 
There's a head poking out from behind him. Yeah, there is. He's right behind him. If it is a head, I don't 